Hi everybody, Editing Loader here. Basically, I had loads of issues with my camera and my SD cards throughout filming this video, and I've managed to lose my introduction footage, which is really annoying because I explained quite a lot in it. So, very brief, quick introduction here because I've already put everything away and I can't be bothered to pulling it all out again just to film my introduction. So, basically, this video, less of a tutorial and more a short little entertaining video of me trying to remember how to solder. I have soldered a couple of times before, but honestly, not for a very long time, and I actually needed to solder the header onto a Raspberry Pi Zero for another project that I have that you should be seeing in the next couple of weeks. So, in this video, I actually changed my mind for filming this video. Basically, I film my videos every Saturday, and yesterday, which was Friday afternoon, I decided to very last minute change my video idea. I had to order some more stuff for the video, and therefore wasn't expecting to even be filming today. But the folks over at Pi Moroni have just absolutely kept this channel on track, because literally, I ordered stuff yesterday afternoon, and it's arrived this morning. So we are filming a video today, which is fantastic. And I don't mean to keep going on about Pi Moroni, but they just happen to have all of the things I need and are very good. So anyway, I ordered a little beginner's soldering pin badge kit from there to practice my soldering and then I'm going to solder the header pins onto my Raspberry Pi Zero and my arm is really aching holding this camera. So yeah, without further ado, I will cut over to me opening my soldering iron kit and getting started. So this is the tab tabager tabiger I don't know. Uh, this is just one of the cheaper, well-reviewed soldering iron kits I could find on Amazon because soldering irons can be expensive and I can't afford that right now. So in this cute little handy dandy kit you get, well, you get the soldering iron itself obviously. Um, I don't actually know off the top of my head what wattage this is or anything. Oh my gosh, I can't get it out me failing to get something out of a package that's never happened on this channel before okay right anyway yeah so not sure what wattage this is but it goes up to 450 degrees celsius and down to 200 just a very basic soldering iron there's a stand for it as well which i presume something like that i'll set that up in a minute there's a desoldering pump thing That's cool, in case I do something very wrong. Uh, I've got some tweezers here. I've got some wire strippers. I have some lead-free solder wire, which is 0.8 millimeters. Got a melting point of 217 degrees Celsius and a 2% flux rosin core, which, as someone who has never really soldered before, doesn't mean a lot to me. I'm gonna be honest. I have my little sponge thing for cleaning. I'll need to get some water for that. Uh, some different soldering iron tips. I don't really know which one I'll end up using, to be honest. These two pointy ones look pretty similar. And then finally, I have some desoldering wick as well. So, pretty cool. I cannot remember how much it was. In fact, I'll double check for you right now. Okay, yeah, so everything in this kit was eighteen ninety nine from Amazon. It was reduced from like £23 to something like that. Obviously, not the most expensive soldering iron you're going to get. It's not one of these big fancy stations or anything. But this is all I can afford and all I really need right now, to be honest. So hopefully it does the job pretty nicely. And then this little kit is a little pin badge. It's the Space Girl one that I picked because I'm quite a fan of space. And it comes with, wait, let me just open it, it's probably easier. So you've got your little pin badge here, and it comes with a battery holder, a coin cell battery, a switch, and two colour cycling LEDs. Ooh, that's cool. I can change the colour of it. That's cool. I didn't know that. I thought they were just white LEDs. Um, yeah, so you just basically solder everything to the little badge 
and you're good to go. So what we're going to do in this video is I am going to set all of this up. I am going to solder this first and then I'm going to move on to soldering the pins on to my Raspberry Pi Zero. I will put my glasses back on for some eye protection. I don't have proper goggles unfortunately but I've tied my hair back and I'm going to open this window wide for some ventilation whilst I'm soldering. If you are soldering yourself at home remember things get hot be sensible, make sure no one's going to trip over your wires, maybe looking to get in some eye protection, tie your hair back if it's long and do it in a well ventilated area. Because I'm doing it in a well ventilated because I'm going to do it with the window wide open for ventilation, chances are it's going to be too loud for me to use the audio from my camera because it's right in front of the window just now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to move the camera around here and give you a close up shot of me soldering and then I will just voice over the main chunk of the video. So, you, with the magic of editing, are about to be transformed to me starting to solder, so I'll see you in a minute. So here we have a close-up of me setting everything up on the pin badge. Now, the pin badge comes with a battery holder that you need to solder onto the badge itself. However, the pins I found for the battery holder were ever so slightly too close together and I couldn't get them to fit through the holes. I ended up taking the tweezers and kind of having to bend them out of shape a little bit but because they were at a slight angle it meant that the entire pin wouldn't quite fit through the hole which made it slightly more difficult when I was soldering it but it worked in the end so that's fine. Also I forgot to say before, well actually I did say before in my introduction that I lost but the reason that my background is different in this video is because I'm soldering directly in front of my open window for the best ventilation possible within this room. Uh, it does mean that obviously my background is a little bit different, but actually filming in front of my white background might look nicer, but it means I have to move around a lot more furniture when I'm filming. So if you all don't mind this background, I might keep it or at least do it a little bit more in future because it was a little bit easier. Here's me tinning my soldering iron, which I kind of struggled with, to be honest. I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing. And now we get onto the nice close-up shots of me soldering things. I soldered the battery holder on camera, but it was really out of focus, so I've just cut that out for you. Here's me adding the LEDs to the badge, um, obviously making sure that they are the right, right way round in terms of positive and negative. The thing I struggled with most here was getting enough solder onto the connections. I found that if I got it right the first time, my you know, it looked fine. It made that nice little cone shape, but the second that I had either too much or too little, um, especially too little trying to go back and add more, it just made it look really, really messy and that's sort of the thing that I struggled with most to begin with. This would also have been a lot easier if I had some blue tack or something to hold the badge down with, but I didn't have any to hand and I couldn't be bothered going to get any, so I've just rested it against whatever I had lying about. The pins for the switch were particularly difficult because they were so tiny, I really struggled to get a, a good join going there. But again, it might not look the best, but it does work in the end product. Finally, I added the battery, and here are some nice close-up shots of the badge. The colour cycling LEDs are so cute, and I love it so much, even with my slightly dodgy soldering on the front as well. I probably should have started on the back, given the fact that I haven't soldered in so long, but I didn't, and honestly, it might not look the best, but it functions, and that's all I really need it to do. And so, with a tiny bit of practice, I moved on to soldering the header onto my Pi Zero. Again, this would have been easier had I found something to stick it down with, but I managed in the end to just resting the Pi on the wire cutters that came in the kit. So I spent a little time making sure that the pins weren't wonky, especially because I was using two sets as opposed to one group together. And then I got to soldering. Now, I definitely found this a lot easier, I think, because they were a teeny bit bigger and a little less crowded. I mean, they are crowded, but I just found it easier to maneuver the soldering iron around these connections 
and especially kind of doing it repeatedly I sort of got into a little bit more of a rhythm and I think some of the connections on here are actually pretty good. There's definitely some that have too much and definitely some that are verging on having too little but all in all it was pretty successful. It was also at this point that my camera ran out of memory and then uh, there was a whole kerfuffle with SD cards corrupting and having to format stuff and losing some things but we we got there in the end. And finally here are some nice close-up shots of my soldering. Again, not the best. Some of them are definitely there's definitely room for improvement but the pins are all on straight and I am pretty confident that the connections are good enough that it will work. And there you have it, one rather amateurly soldered Raspberry Pi Zero. Now anyone who can actually solder out there and is any good at it has probably been very frustrated by the last however many minutes this video is. I apologise, I know that this is far from great. But I mean, the badge works. How cool is that? I like it very much. That's very funky. Um, a lot more fiddly than I remember it being, I will be honest with you. But yeah, it works. I'm pretty sure this will work too. If you want to know why I am soldering this Raspberry Pi Zero and what I'm using it for, tiny little hint is that it's related to some more Pi Maroni stuff I ordered, but you'll have to stay tuned for my next video to see what project I have lined up next. I'd say that was reasonably successful, seeing as I haven't sold it in a long time, and the only practice I had was a couple of pieces on this cute little badge. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video, definitely verging on more entertainment than educational in this one. I like to balance the two, but this was honestly me just messing around and trying to remember how to solder. Big video coming up, which is obviously what this video is gearing up to. I needed to solder this in order to be able to make the thing that I'm going to make, and so I decided I was just going to do a video of me soldering. If you aren't already, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss next week's video. Video. very excited I like getting stuck into the nitty-gritty of making stuff and I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of coding next week a bit less just plugging things in and a little bit more problem solving and something that I have designed myself very exciting as always any comments suggestions feedback sound off in the comments below but any updates on all my ongoing projects things I've worked on just general stuff then go and follow me on Instagram at alordaj as that's the easiest way for me to share the behind the scenes with you thank you for watching another video from myself and I hope you have a good rest of your day evening whatever time it is that you're watching and I will see you in the next one bye and look at how cute my badge is it's so cool Hey, hey.